Um, vegan people on vegan diets, they, they, they're gonna die. Hi, I'm Martin and you're watching Living Well TV. So, I'll go straight to it. Um, a few years ago, I sat again a few aches and pains. Nothing really major. Went to the doctor, got a blood test and they said I had an autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis. And what an autoimmune disease does is your immune system actually uh, turns on itself. So rather than attacking a, a microorganism, uh, it actually attacks your own body. So it, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, it attacks your joints, uh, it attacks uh, your lungs, your heart, your skin, etc., etc. Uh, but when I first got diagnosed, it wasn't too bad, and I thought, ah, this is fine. I just make sure I eat healthy, uh, you know, make sure I exercise and manage it myself. Now, um, I did this for quite a number of months, and, and yeah, I did get the odd uh, pain, aches and pains here and there, but nothing major. Now, earlier this year, um, things took a turn for the worse. Um, I started getting much more pain in my joints, especially in my wrists and my ankles and my knees, uh, and in my shoulders, it's pretty much all over really. Um, so, uh, and it got progressively worse and worse, so much so that there were days where I couldn't even get out of bed. Um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't hold a cup, I had to hold it in my wrists like this to pick up and drink, and drink through straws, it was just awful. My family had to look after me. I had to take days and days off work. Uh, and I thought, what can I do? I couldn't train, couldn't exercise. So I went back to the doctor and was referred to a specialist, a rheumatologist. And uh, they decided to put me on steroids initially to try and ease it off until they could find the right medication for me. The steroids worked a little bit, uh, but I got insomnia. I couldn't sleep, so I was exhausted. <laughs> And then they wanted to put me on anti, uh, sorry, immune suppressants. Now these immune suppressants come with a host of uh, side effects. They're absolutely awful. And I wouldn't recommend anybody taking them unless they really have to. Um, I didn't want to be on these for the rest of my life. Now, about 18 months ago, I did a video on um, try uh, vegan food and see if I could do it for a few months. And I did it quite successfully. Um, and yeah, there was no sort of detrimental side effects to doing the vegan diet or plant-based diet. So, but then I went back to eating animal products and thought nothing of it. You know, it was just a little experiment. I just wanted to see if you could do it. And I, I, on my experiment proved that you can uh, if you do it correctly. Um, but uh, I did read some anecdotal evidence uh, that a plant-based diet can help people with rheumatoid arthritis and reduce inflammation. So I thought, well, look, I've got to give it a go. I don't want to take these drugs. I can't, I don't want to rely on these drugs for the rest of my life. Um, so I thought I'll try and self-manage my illness. So I refused all the treatments. It, it may not be a good, a good idea to do that, but that's the decision that I made for myself. And I went on a completely plant-based diet. And the difference within a few weeks was amazing. And I've been on a plant-based diet now for about three or four months, and I haven't looked back. Um, I have no major flare-ups anymore. I'm able to go back to the gym. I don't have to medicate. I really have to take anti-inflammatory medication. Um, the difference is amazing. And uh, so what I would say to you is, is that if you have got rheumatoid arthritis, you've got nothing to lose but trying to go plant-based. It's worked for me. Look, I'm not saying for one minute that it's gone completely. I do wake up with a few sore joints now and again, but it's very minimal and I can live my life day to day without any problems. Um, look, there are downsides to being vegan. When, you know, the problem is, is this, you've got a lot of anecdotal evidence out there about vegan diets. You've got people saying one thing, people saying another. Um, People on vegan diets, they, they, they're going to die. Look at this one. Look at that one. Look at the state of them. You've got YouTube channels dedicated to, you know, saying that vegans are ill and they're going to die. And look at the state of them. But they're, what they're doing, they're cherry picking the people. So don't believe these things. They're cherry picking people. Like, it, for instance, uh, recently I've seen something where a guy was a fruitarian. And all he was eating was fruit. Well, of course he's going to get ill. It's ridiculous. Okay. 
Another one, uh, I read something that this one woman was all she, all she was eating was vegetables. Well, vegetables are good for you and fruit is good for you. But if that's all you eat, then of course you're going to get ill. It would be the same if you just ate meat. You know, you've got these carnivore diets. And in my personal opinion, they're dangerous, stupid and ridiculous. You should never cut out whole food groups. Okay? Now, I'm not saying for one minute that a vegan diet is easy. It is difficult because you have to eat a range of different foods. Um, you have to eat beans, pulses, vegetables, fruits. Okay? So, and so things like nuts and beans, uh, quinoa, uh, and make sure you eat whole grains and plenty of vegetables. Okay, and you mix it up. You don't just eat one thing. Being a being a vegan or eating a plant-based diet doesn't mean just eating fruit or just eating leaves. It's ridiculous to think that's what you do. And if anybody does that, of course you're going to get ill. So, what I've taken from this, uh, I've eaten a balanced um, plant-based diet for the last four months. It's really helped my condition. I haven't had to take any medication at all. Um, so I definitely recommend you try it. At least try it, okay? If it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't work. Go back to taking your meds, okay? Um, but one thing I will say, once I said, no, I said that, if you are on medication, don't come off it until you've tried the plant-based diet and see if you can get used to it. I don't recommend anybody coming off their medications. I'm not a doctor. I can't make those recommendations, okay? I'm just speaking anecdotally about myself and managing my condition. Okay, just a short video today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Go, 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 go.